Okay, seems there's quite a lot going on in the picture here. I see a couple familiar faces. And let me guess, the cute one in the middle with pink hair and a camera in her hands must be Charlotte, right? Ooh, that's right. <laughs> Charlotte's the one with the camera. She is a journalist after all, so she's got her equipment ready at all times. So in the upcoming version, Charlotte will be appearing in the event storyline, where she'll be dispatched to cover a popular Genius Invocation TCG competition. Given that the competition is an international event, Charlotte will be heading to several nations to gather her news materials. Okay, that explains why we see so many friends from different nations in the picture here. Does that mean that she's going to be traveling around to that then? <laughs> you bet. As a foreign correspondent, she'll definitely be checking out the event venues in different locations. So get ready to embark on a genius invocation TCG journey. Whoop, whoop. However, a keen and active reporter like Charlotte won't only focus on the genius invocation TCG event, even though that's really important. But during this journey, she will also be investigating a very strange case alongside the traveler. Ooh, a strange case, huh? Okay, that does actually sound really newsworthy. Yeah, right? But uh, that's all I can share for now. The mystery will be yours to unveil in version 3.7. So if you want to find out what happens, then make sure you don't miss out. Yay! We hope our travelers have a great time in this event. In addition to the event storyline we just introduced, the Adventurers Guild has also prepared some other event minigames to spice up the TCG tournament. That's right. There will be a total of four event game modes, including a tour of wonders, zero hour invocation, ever motion mechanical painting, and heart of the dice. In a tour of wonders, the organizer has set up checkpoints in various nations. After you complete the required challenges by navigating obstacles or defeating monsters, you'll be able to obtain commemorative stamps at the checkpoints. So collect more of these stamps during your sightseeing tour to obtain the corresponding rewards. Okay, I see. So the stamps will be like proof of your experience traveling in different nations during the event. You know, just like collecting stamps in a passport. Exactly. Next, we have Zero Hour Invocation, which is an unofficial tournament organized for our passionate TCG players. Unlike the official tournament matches, this format adopts a special rule set, so you won't be able to use your own decks. Oh. Instead, you will have to build a deck by selecting cards out of the decks prepared by the organizers. And chances are, you'll get to duel against some familiar faces. Okay, <laughs> sounds like fun already. All right, what about Evermotion Mechanical Painting and Heart of the Dice? I think many of our travelers have played Evermotion Mechanical Painting before, but this game introduced by a dreamer from Fontaine has undergone a few new changes. So this time around, you need to adjust the position of the mechanical painting surfaces by swapping or rotating them first, and then install the appropriate gears on the preset points to restore the painting. And I've heard that the paintings are all based on Genius Invocation TCG cards. <laughs> How awesome is that? That's going to be so cool. And based on the people we've met, you should never underestimate Fontaine's pursuit of mechanical designs. But of course, I'm sure our keen travelers should be able to restore those paintings with just a few attempts. Or more than just a few attempts if, <laughs> if people need it. <laughs> Lastly, we have Heart of the Dice, which is a combat game mode. During combat, you'll be able to obtain random elemental dice by defeating monsters. Use the suppressive roll skill to consume all the dice you possess and unleash a shockwave that deals damage to nearby opponents, while also granting you random buffs. More dice consumed matching the elemental type of the active character will result in greater damage dealt by the shockwave and higher chances of obtaining more buffs. Okay, it seems like these are some special dice, so we'd better make good use of them. <laughs> yep, and travelers will be happy to know that there are a variety of rewards waiting in these events. In addition to Primo Gems and Enhancement Materials, rewards also include a new four-star bow called Ibis Piercer, along with its exclusive refinement materials. Yay! So exciting! <laughs> all right, that's all we have regarding the main event in the upcoming version. On to our next correspondent. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. That may be all for the version event, but I still have something else to report. Oh, okay. 